Bitches, it's the misanthropic one, aka he who hungers. And I'm um back up in this bitch for another rant. Uh Jesus Christ. Um Talib Kweli versus Diabolic Part 2. Look, I, I don't even know where to begin with this shit. It's just so fucking ridiculous, man. Um These guys had a uh well have a beef. And um, I did a video on that. I, I, I stated my opinion on there. I still feel the same way. I still think uh, Diabolic got the best of uh, Tilo Kweli. I think he, he was the better of the two with the tracks out there. My opinion hasn't changed on that. Um, usually, though, you know, with rap beefs, you know, you, uh, people say what they say. Then they go their separate ways. They may not fuck with each other. You know, they may piece it up or whatever the case may be. But not in this case. And I've been um, paying attention to these two because you know um, they are they are artists that I that I actually like. But um, you know, I, I kind of I'm kind of disappointed in Talib Kweli, man, because. You know, as of late, I would say, you know, he just became the ultimate SJW. Uh, you know, I've done videos on this. I can't stand people like that. It, it just, you know, they, they make everything out to be racist. Every goddamn thing is racist that doesn't agree, 100% agree with um, their rhetoric. Uh, Talib Kweli is essentially a, uh, uh, what you call a doctrinaire. He only wants to hear what he believes is right. And if you even deviate slightly, you're a racist, you're a Nazi, you're a xenophobe, a homophobe, a transphobe, everything under the sun, everything but a child of God. Um, I've been paying attention to, to, to Talib Kweli's Twitter and as well as uh, Diabolics. Now, um, Talib Kweli has been around, you know, I, I, I've known him longer, you know, um, he's gotten more, he, uh, more mainstream exposure, um, I have a bunch of his albums, I've reviewed some of his albums, y'all know this, um, but Diabolic I got onto a little bit later because I think he came out later, um, I first heard of him on, um, which Immortal Technique album was it on, was it Revolutionary revolutionary one or two i forget he was on like the um one of the last tracks on there and i started following him um i got his foul play mixtape at rock the bells i believe i i got that shit um got lion a thief you know he makes great fucking albums you know i started watching his battles and everything and um you know i did he's great battle MC. he's one of the few that actually could make songs you know what i mean um but yeah this shit got out of control um talib has been on twitter just spouting all everything's racist uh everybody's a white supremacist this and that y'all know how i feel about that shit like it's getting to the point and i've said this a billion times on my channel that those terms don't they don't have uh, meaning anymore because you uh, people have been saying this shit especially since um the 2016 election and um and i repeat this again the best thing about this election this past election is that it exposes people like this that come out and and they're weak as fuck you know the sjw's everything's a fucking problem if you look the wrong way it's racist if you sneeze like this it's right like it's just the fucking i mean you look at everything that's going on right now would you believe that there's actually people who believe that milk milk the shit that you drink is racist and that's not a joke you can you can search that yourself <laughs> look up milk is racist 
I mean, I kid you not. But anyway, um, let me stick to this. Um, this is the latest thing that, um, right here, that uh, Kwali has done. And this, you know, I, I just kind of was quiet about everything. But this kind of, this is a bitch move. Um, essentially, what Talib did was um, he he uh, DM'd a uh, promoter of a show that um, Diabolic is scheduled to to, to perform at, and um, he's essentially trying to uh, you know blackball him. I mean, you you read the you read what it says. I notice you follow me. You also seem to stand up for the right thing. Diabolic is a sexist, bigoted racist who spews Nazi propaganda, propaganda and right-wing talking points while supporting Trump and dissing people like the Parkland survivors. He has no place in hip-hop, and you do Columbus a disservice by supporting his violent, hateful racism and bigotry. Thought you should know. Peace. <laughs> I mean, I do, I, you know... This is pure out of the far left SJW playbook. This whole time I've followed Diabolic. He's never said anything racist. He's never said anything. I mean, people can't post. I mean, it'll be easy for people to post some shit that he said that was racist. I'm still waiting to see that shit until this day. But he's never done that. Nazi propaganda that I mean look again this is just one of those these buzzwords that you know it's it, people want to just immediately win the battle and they think that by labeling you something that they won no you have to prove it I can't call someone a murderer and not prove it I can't point at someone and say hey that dude killed somebody guess what people are gonna say well who did he kill what did he do you know what what is the motive you have to prove these things. You can't just throw these things out there, you know, and then you wonder why we're in the condition we're in. This is why, you know, uh, let, let's just, okay, right wing talking points. Okay, so this is his argument, right? Uh, Talib Kweli's argument that he's spewing right wing talking points. So when you argue, you're giving an opposing viewpoint. So what opposes right wing? Left wing talking points should if he was saying left wing shit, he would be okay, right? And that's my problem with hip hop and just society in general. You gotta be far left. And like my man Diversity and Comics says, to these SJWs, if you're even a regular liberal, if you're a moderate, you're 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 considered far right. To these people you're considered right wing automatically because you're not sitting here making a fucking big deal out of the stupidest shit no because you say ah you know what i don't agree with everything uh you know hillary clinton believes god forbid it, that now all of a sudden you're some uh a nazi so my question to talib kwali is what are the right talking points he should use so it seems to me that you want you want speech that only makes you happy that makes you comfortable no it, it's freedom of speech people don't have to agree with you that doesn't make them a fucking nazi what makes someone a nazi is what you're doing you're being the fascist because you're saying that he's spewing right-wing talking points okay great um and while supporting trump <laughs> first of all from what he says he says that he voted for jill stein who's a member uh who's independent uh green party so because he didn't sit there and either he doesn't openly bash trump or he doesn't no i i think he he doesn't support trump i think he said that on on a couple of occasions but because he doesn't have trump derangement syndrome like the rest of you sjw's do he he um he supports trump he says no i voted for jill stein that's who i voted for like what the fuck is that and even if he did so fucking what even if he did support trump what the fuck does that have to do with anything that's someone's preference if he if he felt some type of way about uh immigration or freedom of speech or this and that he could 
feel strongly about one or two things that this guy is talking about and said you know what he's bringing up stuff that nobody else is shining their light upon so maybe i'll vote for him so again this idea that you support trump now all of a sudden that makes you a bad person fuck you that's bullshit and uh dissing people like the parkland survivors yeah uh david hogg is a piece of shit i don't agree with him i don't i i don't think that someone that is a 17 year old and is um you know because he went through a tragedy now he should be able to influence uh uh the rights of 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 uh grown ass folk i i I totally disagree with that. And what's the chick that's uh, with him? Uh, what's it? Emma Gonzalez, I believe her name is. Yeah, she's one of the kids that bullied that dude that uh, <laughs> that ended up shooting up that fucking school. So I mean, yeah, I I diss them too. If that's what you if that's what you consider dissing, because I don't support them. I don't agree with what they say. Yeah, fuck that. Um. Yeah. So and, and then you know what's so funny is. This nigga wasn't sitting there saying this shit when um, he was originally with um, with Immortal Technique. I know that um, Technique and Diabolic um, have an issue right now, but um, guess what? You know, you weren't saying none of that this shit when he was saying certain things that made you comfortable. When he was talking about Bush, when he was talking about conspiracy shit. You weren't. Uh, guess what? Talib Kweli didn't have a problem with him then. None of these niggas do. You know what I mean? None of these niggas had a problem with him. So, like, it, cut the bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, this just got fucking so hilarious, man. I, I honestly, I think that this is a bitch move. Um, I think Talib Kweli has been reaching ever since he lost the battle. And um, it's not just me saying it. Majority of people have said this shit because, you know, I think there was even a poll that came out that was like 70% on Diabol that said Diabolic ripped him. So this dude has been reaching. It's like the, the mark of a sore loser, dude. I mean, this guy just recently, recently just went back and uh, <laughs> this guy went back and looked up a song that... um diabolic put out called dissing the industry right this was i believe on the foul play mixtape I, I i um <clears throat> and he has a, a line where he says while the industry puts out whack mcs like pumpkin head right so this dude went on uh, mind you now this mixtape is uh what 13 years old something like that <laughs> <laughs> to live quality goes fucking back and uh hold on let me see if i could find that Cause look, look at this he, this is the other thing to live quality got um got diabolic suspended uh his 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 shit suspended simply because he um i think he used the word retard or some shit Let me see. Yeah, I think he may have removed it, but see? Yeah, yeah. Coast put this out. Ah, uh, here we go. See? The fact that <laughs> Diabolic wrote this rhymes about Pumpkinhead and tried to use PH, uh, PH name to diss me while also stealing from his fans on Kickstarter disqualifies his opinion on hip-hop he's out here dissing parkland survivors dude is a clown so because these major labels put out whack mcs like pumpkin head okay so coast comes back and says the fact <laughs> that you don't know that ph had a 
joint called Whack MCs. This is a song that uh, that has been out since '98. I believe this was on uh, the the joint. Was it on the Old Testament? That album. I, I know I heard the song before, but th that's how far that this nigga gotta go. Like it, it's it's just so pathetic. You know what I mean? Like, dude. And 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 Pumpkinhead is supposed to be your your boy. Like you went to his uh, supposedly you went to his um, the uh, thing where they were gonna celebrate him by having a street named after him, and even Diabolic. I watched his live stream how he was saying the um, uh, one of the people that that um, organized the whole thing had a bad experience with you, Talib. So um, you know I, I don't know I don't know what to say, man. Um, this fucking guy Talib Kweli is one of the reasons why I don't even listen to conscious rap anymore. Shout out to DJ GI Joe, by the way. Um, I was on one of his live streams too um, on Instagram, and he said, you know, he's trying to put a, a mixtape out or an album out, and he goes, dude, no political rap, man. I'm just tired of that bullshit, and I totally agree with him, man. It's because of people like these fake quote unquote woke people like Talib Kweli that you know I'm just kind of tired of conscious rap you know because you already know what the content's going to be it's going to be the same old you know Trump it, Trump's fault for XYZ it's going to be um, uh, the pay gap it's going to be yeah women make 70 cents to every dollar which is the biggest lie in history but people still put that out there it's going to be everything's racist Nazis exist blah 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 like no it's enough I, I'm tired of that bullshit you know um, this dude's on some bitch shit man I'm telling you man I, I mean <laughs> and, you know with, speaking of the pumpkin head shit I, I, I could you know when, when Diabolic brought that up saying that he's a fake and a fraud how he was never cool really cool that, that deep with pumpkin head you know just this whole whack MC's thing proves that point but you know I, it just comes off as acting to me like it's just theatrical cause I remember this nigga goes on um what's this dude show uh, on um Don Lemon's show, whatever the fuck it is on CNN, during the whole Ferguson thing, man, Talib Kweli started screaming like a like like a bitch at at um Don Lemon. Mind you, Don Lemon is on his side. He he's another SJW cucked up, weak leftist, you know, far left guy. You know, <laughs> he just went on there and he was basically, uh, just, you know, screaming at him because. I guess he wasn't espousing the same exact shit verbatim that Talib Kweli was saying. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just got, the guy's a joke, man. I, I can't support him anymore. That's why I didn't buy Radio Silence. I really didn't, didn't don't have no interest in buying or listening to that album. Um, you know, shout out to Mandolino. Uh, he used to make some YouTube videos. He was one of the first ones that got into a sort of like a, a um, Twitter argument with Talib Kweli. I remember this years ago, man. Um, I remember he just, you know, was talking about he um, he just asked him about him being on this song with some dude that was signed to Cash Money that it didn't fit his style, you know, because. Talib Kweli usually talks about, you know, all these money-making MCs and blah, 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 blah. All you do is talk about sex. Essentially, you know, he's a conscious rapper, this and that. This dude goes, <laughs> this dude Kweli goes, oh, well, I respect his hustle, <laughs> which is essentially saying, which is essentially saying, oh, well, I, lyrically, I don't fuck with him, but, you know, I'm just trying to get this money because he's on a hot label. That's what it translates to. This dude's a joke, man. I mean, his, his whole... His whole um, fan base or Twitter followers are either um, trolls. They're either black people that are so insecure that um, that they just want white people to fucking worship them, or they're white liberal cucks who um, give into white guilt. You know, they're sycophants essentially, or they're SJWs. Period. You know what I mean? So. Um, I don't know what else to tell you, man. <laughs> I really, I really don't know what else to say, man. This is this has gone on longer than than what I wanted it 
to go on to um yeah i think that um Taylor Kweli is a bitch at this point uh you know i still love his earlier albums still love the uh you know re like reflection eternal and black star and uh you know uh some of that shit but you know this this whole shit where he sits on twitter all fucking day and looks for quote unquote racists and all that shit like dude <laughs> cut the bullshit man um i don't know what else to tell you man i'm done shout out to um diabolic you know you're a real dude um i talk to you on a regular I, I, this guy you know the fact that he got uh that the quality gotta go this low and do this shit it's it's bitch shit to me you know what i mean like i even when fat joe did that shit to cuban link back in the day i always thought that was that was a stupid move and i and i like both fat joe and cuban link i like both of them but to blackball someone to me that's the ultimate that means that you're threatened by that person to me because if it really was nothing you just say yeah continue doing what you're doing you'll never make it but you know the fact that this dude went out of his way to 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 fucking do this and not even provide proof of it dude this guy's a fucking clown i'm done man <laughs> guys don't ask me to review any of his shit i i this is why again i don't really go into political rap too much anymore because i know what it's gonna be this is why i didn't review uh what was it the prophets of rage shit i i don't have time for it anymore I don't have time for the, the whole SJW shit. I, I'm just tired of that bullshit. All right. Um, that's it, man. Um, everybody else, leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Um, that's it. All right. Peace, bitches.